Okay, hello. So this video is the second part of the previous video, which is the part five. We are talking about how to change the material and the construction of a building or a model in Energy Plus. Okay, so the simulation has finished and we can see the results from our previous model. So this is the result by changing the windows material to use clear glass with six millimeters thickness. And now I want to compare the simulation result with the previous simulation result which used the template windows material. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so as we can see here, the total energy of the building is raising after we change the windows material in this model from 177 kilowatt hour per meter square to 203 kilowatt hour per meter square. And now we will compare the cooling lot breakdown. So here is the data of the cooling lot breakdown between the two models. As we can see here, the people, lights, and equipment cooling lot is still the same. And in the bottom part, we can see the cooling lot breakdown, which comes from the surface, are different. And because we changed the windows material, which means the cooling lot from the fenestration conduction will be different. So here, after changing the window material to use six millimeter clear glass, we got 84 watts from the fenestration conduction. Before, we only got 54. But maybe you will also notice that the cooling lot breakdown not only change for the fenestration conduction, but we also can see here that the roof, for example, the cooling lot from the roof also changing, and also the exterior wall a little bit changing as well, interzone wall also changing. So maybe some of you will ask, why do the other surface give a different cooling lot while we only change the windows material. So the answer is that this peak cooling lot is not happening in the same time. So we can check it from here, from the HPAC sizing summary. So you can see here the design lot that is being used for space 101 is calculated on 12 June at 17 p.m. And if we check our latest simulation result here, the design lot that is being used is taken at 12 June at 16.30. So, these two simulation results is not happening at the same time. That is why there are also differences in the other surfaces cooling lot here. Okay, so, yeah. And that is why the cooling lot calculated in this simulation result is higher than before. So here, as we can see, the calculated design lot is around 1,000 watt. Before, 
the populated cooling lot is around 850 so there is like 150 watts different between these two simulation results just by changing the windows material so here the cooling lot is changing just by changing one parameter that is the windows material and in the next video I'll show you by changing the other internal gains such as the lights power the equipment power and number of people in a space it will also change the cooling lot but you need to be careful because there are so many parameter inputs in energy plus that you need to consider uh, carefully because all that input parameters will determine the cooling lot of your system which means you'll also determine your system sizing result so thank you um, this is only a short video because the previous video is still not finished yet so hopefully with this video you can be more understand